slept well, but I do hope you slept well. Um, so if you know me very well, then it's no secret that anxiety is something that I've dealt with my entire life. It's, she's been with me. Um, she's always been there. <laughs> and I've noticed that a lot of my friends and not just my friends, just people on the internet that I follow, um, have been feeling new levels of anxiety that they've never felt before and I mean it just makes sense. I feel like every time I go on social media, every time I listen to the news, there's always something really horrible that happens or that is happening. So really this time that we're in with self-isolation which in and of itself can trigger so much anxiety feelings of sadness or depression and just everything else that's happening, so much uncertainty, I feel like it's just heightening, especially people who already deal with anxiety like me. It's like pushing our anxiety to the limits. Like, so I wanted to show you things that I do if I'm really trying to like actively squash that anxiety and just do everything in my power to prevent it from coming this evening. I'm gonna be honest, not every day looks like this. I don't journal every single day. I don't go outside every single day. There's some days where the anxiety just comes for no reason and it's really hard to like, it's really hard to stop it. My advice to you is just don't run away from it. I know it's a terrible feeling and no one wants to feel anxious, but if you just deal with it head on and try to understand your anxiety that you're experiencing, it just gets so much better. But anyways, my first tip for you, okay, is to get ready. Honestly, like this is, you probably expected me to say this, but I will tell you again, if you've already heard this, just getting ready. I'm not saying you have to like put on like a full on, like super uncomfortable outfit. It can still be comfy. But just getting ready is so important, at least for me. I know some people, actually, I know some people who will feel so much better just staying in their pajamas all day. So if you have like a cute outfit on, you're gonna wanna do things, you're gonna wanna get things done, you're gonna wanna be in a good mood. So that's why I love fashion. It just can change the game. breakfast. I know some people aren't breakfast people and tend to skip breakfast, but I notice if I'm not like well nourished in the morning especially, those feelings of hunger can turn into restlessness, which can then heighten any anxiety that I'm already feeling. So it's really important to make sure that your most basic needs, which are eating, are met. Hang on, grandfather clock. I'm actually like in a really interesting, let me get the eggs real quick. We're gonna make some eggs and tortilla. Um, 
Um, I just got a new job. I'm now working for corporate America. I have sold my soul to corporate America. So I start as a UX designer next week in corporate America. So this week is actually my week off. I just left my last job last week. And so this week I just have a lot of little tasks and errands to get done. Shasta is awake. You know, obviously this routine would look slightly different. I'd probably be eating breakfast way earlier than I am right now, but I think that if you do work, like I'm gonna be doing it next week and you have to wake up early, I think just like waking, wake up a little bit earlier so you have time to do all those things for yourself. You know, spend time with yourself, do your thing, uh, eat breakfast, get ready, look cute. I have to run some errands. I have to go to Publix, get some things, and Tony and I, Tony is my boyfriend, we are going to a very isolated cabin, probably like an hour and a half from here. So I have to pack for that, I have to get some things for that, so I'll show you, I'll show you all of that stuff. You know how people say like, but first coffee? It's really, but first feast. upstairs back in my room I wanted to talk about something else that has helped my anxiety so much this if you've followed my channel follow my channel watch my videos you know that I love my bullet journal but I'm not going to talk about what the specific thing that I wanted to talk to you about was tracking your anxiety so this is something that I actually started last month there's different ways, but essentially a mood tracker tracks your mood. You basically log what your mood is every single day. So here I log the day of the month that it is. This was for the month of May. So the day that it was, this is the mood that I was experiencing. And then here I write a description. So the reason I really like this is because sometimes when you're anxious, it can be tempting to just pull through. <laughs> just experience the anxiety and then just when you feel better just move on and forget about that it even ever happened but i noticed the problem with that is that you don't if you don't pay attention to the things that might have triggered your anxiety the things that could have made your anxiety worse the environment you were in when you were feeling anxious, what you were doing while you were feeling anxious. If you don't pay attention to those things, I feel like it's very likely that it will happen again because you won't really know what to do to prevent it from happening again. Once I was able to like, you know what, not be afraid of it, look anxiety in the freaking face and be like, hey, bish, what's up? And <laughs> realize like pay attention to what you are doing that day who you talk to that day maybe there's a specific person that makes you feel anxious just paying attention to all those things and tracking it can make it feel so much more approachable but yeah so essentially what i'm going to do now is do some a little bit of work
like 4 30 p.m i like to change out of my work clothes obviously like if i'm still working then i mean no you can still do that you're working from home yeah just changing into some workout clothes i've been actually working out in the evening and i'm gonna do that later tonight i like to work out with my mom my mom and i have been working out together and it's been super cute my mom was like a fit queen so just doing a workout with her just makes me super motivated i will say like working out is probably like my number one tip for anxiety it's interesting because anxiety comes with a feeling of like increased heart rate um, feeling like you can't breathe but working out kind of gives you that same feeling so it's like taking those typical feelings of anxiety of tight chestness feeling like you have to catch your breath fast heart rate all those things that come with i guess more like panicking anxiety attacks and except you're putting it in a positive context so you're saying to yourself a fast heart rate doesn't necessarily need to mean that i'm having an anxiety attack that i feel anxious it can be something positive it could be that oh my heart rate is up because blood is pumping through my body i am doing something good for my body i'm sweating not because i'm nervous but because i'm working out and this is good for me when they do happen because of anxiety you're not so freaked out about it because you're just like oh my heart's racing because yeah i'm anxious right now but it's not it doesn't mean i'm gonna die it doesn't mean like my life is over it just means that my body is working in response to something yes i and packing so i brought up this super cute like weekend bag that i don't use that often at all but um i thought this would be perfect for my little cabin trip tomorrow so i made a list actually Ta -da! it just has a bunch of things that i need to pack and i even wrote out a menu because we're gonna buy groceries for the cabin and it just makes me feel I mean talk about like squashing anxiety like lists mm, they have such a special place in my type a little heart I love lists they're they're just great if you have all these things in your mind and you're like oh my god I have to pack all these things girl just write it down just write it down write it on your phone on your notes app whatever you want um, yeah, and just get to it. like kind of turning into like a skincare haul video skincare favorites this serum girl it is so good it just feels really good on my skin um yes this ish is hella expensive <laughs> is it placebo do they like make it that expensive so you feel like it's working because you force yourself to feel like it's working because you spend so much money 
Maybe. I like to just like take my time and just like rub it into my skin. I don't know, it just really makes me feel at ease when I put this on. talking to you about earlier uh, about tracking your anxiety tracking your mood I like to do that now at the end of the day right before I go to sleep because I've given myself the chance to experience all the emotions that I could possibly experience in one day and then also tracking my habits like did I network today no <laughs> did I socialize kind of I did like send my friends voice notes and stuff so yeah um, did I practice my French? No. <laughs> Did I drink water? Yes. Just like things like that and it just makes you feel more accomplished even though I didn't have work today and I start work tomorrow, er, not tomorrow, <laughs> not tomorrow. I start work next week. I just feel like I got things done. So I really hope that this video gave you some kind of advice, a little bit of hope. <laughs> I know a lot of us have been feeling really crappy and anxious and depressed because of everything that's happening and at the least I hope this calmed you down. You know this video in and, in and of itself just gave you something else to think about so yeah I'm sending you a lot of love. Mucho amor. Good night. It sounds weird. I never said good night to the camera before. Oh my god we're all like on a different level now. I'll see you somewhere else on the internet very soon. Bye!